just, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna have to just start right in telling you about myself. I, I hope that doesn't seem rude, but there's not gonna be a time to do you. It's just me. Um, so I'm a, I, have a fa I have a family. I just kind of realized recently, I have, I have my own family. I have my own family, you know? I mean, it's been going on for a while. My daughter is eight, but uh, I have a wife and a daughter, and that's my, my family. It's my family. You know, it, it feels different from that family that you're born into, right? Those people. <laughs> we, don't, we all have that moment where we're like 15, 16, where you realize that family you're born into, just like, wait a minute. I'm not part of a dream team. Um, <laughs> this is not a group of hand-picked champions, you know, <laughs> destined to take it all year after year. It's more like a gym class pickup, you know, number off situation. <laughs> you're just born into it, but you love them. I mean, that's your family. You, you love them and you want to do the best, but, you, but and you're a team, you just, but it's more like, like, let's just try not to lose every game <laughs> this year. Okay, dad. Um, <laughs> But then you get your own family, and that feels different. You know, I have my, it is a dream team. I picked my wife, that's my soulmate. She picked me, I'm her soulmate. We agreed on that. Then we made a baby, half, half me, half her. What could possibly go wrong? It doesn't even occur to you. That's exactly how your friggin' parents got started. Um, <laughs> but you're, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to do my best as a dad. You know, you, you, I, we've got our daughter, and she has things. I didn't have things that she had. We had a dog when I was a kid, but she has a hamster. She has, we have a dog and a hamster, because a little kid, wants a little pet, that's, what I, that's my point. A hamster is a kid pet. If you're here on a date with someone who has a pet hamster who does not also have a kid, that's a flag. Um, <laughs> you might wanna keep your eye on that situation. Um, Cause it's a weird, anyway, so we have this hamster and I'm the head of the household, I have responsibilities, but I'm traveling for work. I have to go out of town, so my wife has to do my job when I'm gone, I feel guilty about that. But I called up, you know, you call up to check, I called, this would be a couple months ago, I called up, I said to my wife, How, how's everything going? She said, we're having a tough day, the hamster is sick and I had to take the hamster to the vet. <laughs> That's an example of something that I don't think would have happened if I had been home. Um, <laughs> Right, I, I, I just, I don't feel like you take the hamster to the vet. That's, let me back up in case you're not familiar with hamsters. They cost $20. Um, <laughs> so it's weird to take the hamster to the vet. Like, you know, the vet, the vet doesn't really even understand what you're doing there with a hamster. It, it would be like if you took a big lighter to the shop, you know, like, hey, it's, it sparks, but it won't, I can't get it to light up. It's, I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Like, it's got juice in it. Yeah. They don't know what to do. I, and I'm not making that up either. My wife admitted to me, she tried to call the dog's vet to make an appointment for the hamster, and the dog vet just told her, I'm sorry, we don't see pocket animals. Um, <laughs> so she had to call around. It's a big city, so she called around. You can find a vet that will, you know, we enjoy money. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we would love to take a look at your hamster. In fact, it's our dream to hook it up to a machine. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, a little hamster wheeling around a dialysis machine. <laughs> that could happen, that's where we're at, society. Anyway, so my wife says she took the hamster to the vet. I say, well then what happened? That's what I say. I've been married 10 years. She says she took the hamster to the vet. I say, what happened? Because you don't want to say, why the fuck did you take the hamster to the vet? That's not in your best interest to say that to your wife. You might, right? You might as well just say, I don't think we should have sex for a month. Um, <laughs> what's your opinion? Is that long enough? Um, so, I say, then what happened? My wife starts telling me, and my daughter grabs the phone, because she's been to the vet with a hamster, so she wants to tell the story. She's like, Daddy, we took Snowflake to the vet. That's the hamster's name. We took Snowflake to the vet, and the vet gave us antibiotics, because she said that Snowflake might have a urinary tract infection. <laughs> I know, so I said, well, how, how, do you, how does she know that? She says, because her vagina is inflamed. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I was like, could you put your mom back on, please? <laughs> I was over my head in this hamster conversation. So my wife gets back on and then she says, yeah, well, the vet gave us antibiotics and we hope that those work because the vet said if the antibiotics don't work, that could mean that there is a problem with the hamster's uterus, in which case the hamster would need an operation. And I know, okay, quick difference between you and I right now. When I heard that, I was not allowed to laugh. Um, yeah. 
I was in the middle of a pretty serious conversation. So I have to hear the hamster might need an operation. Then I have to go, oh my God. And then my wife says, and the operation would cost $200. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And, and then my wife said, but obviously there's, we would not get a $200 operation on a hamster, right? And then I was like, welcome back to Earth. Um, <laughs> I didn't think we would get a $200 operation on a hamster, but I didn't think we would take the hamster to the vet, but I didn't say that. I, I was curious about what does it cost to take a hamster to the vet and get antibiotics, but I couldn't figure out how to even ask that question, you know, just out, of curi just out of curiosity, you know. I mean, obviously, money is no object when the life of a hamster is on the line. Um, so, I had to wait for the credit card bill to come in, and it's $160, that's, I know. So to take a hamster to the vet, it costs eight hamsters. <laughs> right? I know. How, how could the life of a hamster be worth eight hamsters? <laughs> it's a paradox. <laughs> Think about it. And thank you. I was in the airport. Those treadmills they've got are huge. Because Americans are always saying things that there's not that much proof for. You hear us say things like, uh, we're number one! <laughs>